What would happen if you let go of worry about what the future looks like for you? What's the next thing you should be doing? And just releasing all of that baggage, all of that expectation, because these expectations create anxiety within you. And when you're anxious, you are pulled out of the present moment. You're living on a 3D timeline worrying about the future. But if you could just simply, even for a few moments, let go of the worry and reconnect with yourself, reconnect with your heart, just take a deep breath into your heart and say to yourself, I am perfect in this moment. You will feel something deep within rise up that has the power to radically change your life. When we're worrying, when we're stressed, when we're looking to the past and trying to create some sort of an expectation of the future based on that past, we are limiting ourselves to a 3D timeline. You are so much more than that. You are multidimensional. You're a limitless energetic being. And the key or the doorway to accessing that potential is through the present moment. It's through the heart space. It's connecting with your body, releasing all of those chains that tie you to a lower frequency timeline. Think about it. If you could just say to yourself, I am going to not give a damn about anything for a few moments. Just sit here and feel, feel the truth of who I am. Just reconnect with my body and feel that everything is okay in this moment. You will start to detach from those lower frequency timelines. Now, it only takes a moment to do that. If you could do it now and you could do it a few times throughout your day, that starts to set a new pattern, a new program. It starts to build new circuitry within your body, releasing yourself from these expectations and from these worries. Your guides are all around you in this moment. But when you're focused into a 3D timeline, you can't perceive them. That's part of the, the experience here on Earth, part of being human. The more human you become, the less you're able to perceive your guides, your multidimensional aspects, these higher aspects residing in higher frequency realities. You just simply can't perceive them because you are focused through the lens of being human. But when you can let that go, just say to yourself, you know what? I'm going to drop all of this baggage that I've been carrying around for a long, long time, weighing me down, anchoring me to a lower frequency timeline. And I'm going to open myself up to be available to whatever it is that is ready to come forward, things that maybe I couldn't perceive when I was focused on a lower frequency. Now I'm making myself available for whatever it is that is ready for me to come through. You know what? It may not come through in that moment, but the more that you cultivate that space and you trust that you are living life from a state of presence, from a state of flow, and less from the mind and less expectations, the more of an environment you create for those types of experiences to start to manifest. Now, when these things do start to come forward because you're getting present, then you can get your mind re-engaged and start to add an electrical charge of thought to that energy and start to change your experience or change your reality, start to manifest the things that you truly desire. It's all about a state of mind. When we're so focused on forcefully creating a future based on limited bandwidth of expectations, programming, and limiting beliefs, you end up with a future that is in the same frequency or the same timeline, a very limiting one. Now, the interesting thing is your brain doesn't know what expansiveness really looks like, and it's really afraid of it, right? There's a fear there. It doesn't want to move into this new space because it's unknown and it's uncomfortable. So you need to lead the way by just getting present, breathing in, feeling, connecting with your breath, connecting with your heart, connecting with your solar plexus, and showing your mind what it feels like to just let go. So let go. Be present. Don't give a damn about what the next thing is you should be doing or what you expect to happen. And just find that present moment. Find that peace. There is an element of peace and joy in that frequency, in the present moment, 
that feels absolutely amazing. And the more you find that, the more that you that you cultivate that, the more your mind will start to lean into it. It won't be so fearful anymore of the unknown. You will lead the way. It will start to gradually be exposed to it. And you're going to find eventually it's going to want more of that. So when you start to get triggered or you get stressed or you have anxiety creep up, your mind is going to start to say, no, 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 no. I want to go back to that piece that you led me to before. So you go back in and you find that. That becomes a new state of being. That's how you know that new circuitry is being built. And your guides are holding space for you to do that. If you make a commitment right now to find that spaciousness of peace by dropping all that baggage, by saying, I don't give a damn about what's supposed to be happening next. I'm going to find peace in this moment and connect with myself, the inside, internally, my heart space, and breathe with that. Your guides are holding the space for you to be able to find that. And once you do, their energy will start to move through you and it will start to become available to you. You will start to experience multidimensional realities that were always there. They were just kind of like off the radar because you were focused into a timeline of doing and expectation. So give yourself the time throughout your day. We could call this self-care to sit, be present, meditate, ground, focus on your breath, connect with your heart, connect with your root chakra, connect with your solar plexus. I have videos on this channel showing you how to breathe through these areas so that you can bring them online. That will get energy moving through your chakras so that your mind will be able to now relax because it will feel something new, something that maybe it was once afraid of, but by you intentionally leading it inward to connect with that peace, with that love, with that joy, your mind will eventually want to follow and that's when things start to change because there is no more resistance there. You don't fight with your mind or with your ego. You bring it into the equation. We don't want to isolate or abandon any aspect of us. We want to bring it all into the whole. And if you make this a new pattern, a new, new programming, by first consciously doing this, subconsciously your body will take over and start to lean into that as well. And you will start to become a walking embodiment of a multidimensional you, which has your guides, your higher self, all of these amazing things that you all have been searching for start to become present in your reality simply because you decided to focus away from a 3D experience and turn inward and connect through peace and through joy and through love with a multi-dimensional experience. That energy then is moving up your central channel. It's getting up into here because your brain is now available and ready to allow that to happen because it's let go of the old way of being. And now these new realities can start to manifest for you. You could add that charge of intentional thought to it and shape how this new multi-dimensional energy moving through you is going to broadcast and manifest into your experience.